Welcome back everyone to another Diacon Dissectional production hosted by Deathstroke9. Today we're going to be reacting to Aretha Franklin. Respect. So, um, this is almost really bad because I had everything on here muted uh, and might have accidentally recorded the whole video uh, muted if I had not noticed that. So, yeah, don't really know why I had to tell you that, but I thought it was kind of funny. So, hello. Um, my name's Daniel. Here we react to music, and I try to figure out what the music and the lyrics mean to me personally. Uh, multiple people have requested that I do Aretha Franklin, and this has been the most requested song, so I'm excited to check it out. Uh, the first thing I'm going to mention about this is that uh, it looks like when I went to find the lyrics, it says um, that it was originally by Otis Redding. So this is a cover of a song by a man right and the the song and the subject matter of the song or the one of the reasons people were asking me to do aretha franklin's version is because you know it's kind of a a, a woman's empowerment song um so it's very interesting because i think that she's gonna flip that on its head right um who knows i don't we'll figure it out um but i i think that's what's gonna happen uh now otis redding before I say something stupid, I'm going to look it up just to make sure. But for some reason, I'm thinking of sitting on the dock of the bay. Is that the dock of the bay? Is that by Otis Redding? It is Otis Redding. Okay, cool. That's that's where I know him from. All right, so I recognize that name. Anyway, um, enough chit-chat. Let's get into the song. Thank you for joining me. Uh, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing if you enjoy these types of videos. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Yeah. Sorry, forgot to pause it. Wow. All right, the song's too short, I guess. Um, bring it back one. Uh, yeah, let's just keep going. First off, um, Aretha Franklin recently passed away, right? I think so. Um, let me check that. Let me fact check that. Um, Aretha Franklin. There we go. So, Aretha Louise Franklin. Yeah, she passed away in 2018. Okay. I remember when that happened. It was really sad. Um, stop it. It's interesting. Wikipedia keeps asking for money now. They never used to do that. All right, uh, was an American singer, songwriter, actress, pianist, and civil rights activist. Yes, definitely. So like I said before, it's definitely like um, it's flipping around what was considered, you know, the, I guess you could say, gender roles in the time period. Let me make sure I've got the time. 1942 is when she was born, so. Found acclaim and commercial success in 1966. Yeah, so kind of flipping it on its head. And you know, I actually, hmm. Let me think about how to talk about this. So I think that um, uh, at the time, and technically it's still going on today. There's, there's still some uh, messed up things that happen and there's still inequality, right? Uh, so, I personally believe that equality is important, equal opportunity for everybody, no discrimination based on gender, based on orientation, based on race or ethnicity, none of that, you know? Um, that's, that's what I believe in. Uh, so it's, I appreciate this right here, how she calls him Mr. while also asking for respect. That means he def the person she's talking to definitely should be reciprocating, right? Like it's um it's a it's a give and take, right? It's it's back and forth, um, and it's she's trying to say, look, I'm giving you the respect that you want. Give me respect back, right? And that's the the beauty of this song is that it's it's more of a let's come to common ground. You know, um, a, a lot of times when I see current, what would you call it, feminism, 
it doesn't really seem to have that same effect, uh, which is just interesting. And obviously that's a generalization. That's not always the case. But um, so let's take a look at the lyrics. It's pretty simple, straightforward lyrics. What you want, I've got it. What you need, you know I've got it, right? I've got what you want and what you need. All I'm asking is for respect. Respect me. Come on, I'm a freaking human being. You're a freaking human being. We can both be freaking human beings together. Um, when you come home, I'm not gonna do you wrong while you're gone. I don't, I would never, it would never even cross my mind. I don't want to. All I'm asking is for respect. Then she says, I'm about to give you all of my money. All I'm asking in return is for you to give me my propers, right? You to give me what's what's due to me. And to me, it, it, it makes this song very interesting that she's, um, that she's covering an Otis Redding song. Like that's, the fact that it's like taking the song, which well, I'll bet, like I, I kind of want to hear how he does it as well, and flipping it around, you know? It's very interesting to me. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for requesting this. Your kiss is sweeter than honey. Guess what? So is my mo so is my money. Okay. Um, R e s p e c t. Find out what it means to me. Okay. Sock it to me. Sock it to me. Sock it to me. <laughs> I get tired. Keep on trying. You're running out of fooling, and I ain't lying. Respect when you come home. I might walk in. Or you might walk in and find out I'm gone. That's, this is the, the, the main point of the matter is right there, you know? If you're not treating me right, guess what? I'm going to leave your, you, <laughs> you know? Like, uh, goodbye. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, fairly straightforward song. Uh, it was pretty short, so this video is only like, not very long, but thank you guys for joining me. Um, if you enjoyed the video, uh, let me know. Uh, the last time I made a video and I talked about uh, this, this topic is, I guess, civil rights, I guess you could call it, which is, a, uh, I guess, a politically charged topic. I don't really know why it is, because it kind of makes sense. Equality it seems like it shouldn't really be a political topic that everyone's a human being, but... Some people got annoyed the last time I talked about it, so I tried to, I've tried to, I'm trying to choose my words here. But, um, you know, let me know what you think. Thank you for joining me. Uh, and let me check what, what the comments under this video are. Oh, comments are turned off. Okay, never mind. Well, let me just give that a like. And, um, yeah, let me know what else by Aretha Franklin you'd like me to check out, because I know that her music is classic music. Um, because when she passed away there was stuff about her everywhere both my parents talked about her passing you know it was it was something that like even though i i don't really know any music by her it still very much affected me when she passed away and it was like i remember dad like looked her up and told me some stuff about her so um anyway thank you for joining me deathstroke 9 out see you guys soon stay tuned for more videos